would like to introduce soon to you all, and she probably doesn't need any introduction. <laughs> but she is an amazing artist, and it's won many awards. She's known nationally and internationally as well with her awards and the workshops that that she has done. And her paintings, just as someone said, they blow me away. They're just beautiful. So um, I'll let. Okay, you can start. It. It's Sarah. filming and she has set up a monitor for y'all so y'all can see can you see okay what she's doing okay so enjoy so this is going to be my space i i don't know so she i only have 30 minutes and i'm like 30 minutes what, what am i gonna do what am i gonna do with 30 minutes it's like how many brush strokes i can uh, accomplish with 30 minutes so i think it's a lot of people wanting to know about like how tight i can create that's the one is kind of, I cannot talk about that within a 30 minutes, but sometimes, sometimes it's because I teach the kind of painting crystal usually open workshop all over the place. And after they finish, some people kind of got it, some people like, okay, and, <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, even they follow me how to do crystal, and sometimes, I think it's just, you know, Chinese saying that the uh, student, uh, the teacher appears and students are ready. That's kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much time that I talk about the same thing over and over and over again. 20 years, kind of five years later, why didn't you tell me? And I'm like, I've been telling you this one all along. <laughs> I'm not ready. Can you see that's how it goes? So I wanted to talk kind of basically, <clears throat> if you see tight painting and detailed painting, that mean my sweat comes out with it, comes with it. <laughs> because every brush stroke I put in, can you see? That mean it's a time and it's my patience. It's nothing but patience and time. You know, you can do it in one brush stroke, but I have to do this one. Every detail that mean it's my time goes in together. So it's nothing more than just patience and time and your sweat goes with it. <laughs> and I just love that. Hardship. I don't know why, but I just love enjoying it. So it doesn't mean my life is just kind of horrible. I love doing it. So I just wanted to show you. Sometimes I do this kind of stuff, like uh, to lose. This one is I can do demonstration. But a lot of time when I go to a demonstration, usually when I go to workshop, it's kind of group of people. My demonstration go with it. Kind of they wanted to see how my and. I have to prepare segments of step by step by step. But I have a book, like a, uh, she doesn't have it and I didn't bring it. <laughs> but uh, uh, I showed that one step by step by step what I did. And first, I have two books. And I painted about, that was 15 years ago, maybe 17 years ago, I don't know, I painted. First book actually explained more than the second book, and I'm like, oh, I already talked about this one. I don't think I want to put it in. <laughs> and I just, but first book, you read it, and second book, nothing more than, kind of, I'm dealing with a different subject matter. It's the same or same or. But only difference is how I deal with subject matter. That's all different. Can you see? So every time that when I see the subject, I usually take picture. Can you see? This one is worried and that's set my photo. It, it's okay. And these days, I used to uh, develop my photo. These days, nobody can have an a excuse to not to have a good photo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cell phone takes better picture than probably amateur photographer about 10 years ago. Cell phone takes better picture, can you see? We can get closer and detail, anything we want. So if you like to paint detail like me, I get closer. <laughs> you see? Because I want to capture the detail so I can see it. Because every time people say, can I do use life? If I have one petal, the flower is gone because I cannot do that. Can you see? So it's kind of light changes, you know, that time changes. I can, because I just cannot do it. Because, I, you know, I will never realize that I can do this in business, one setting or something. No. I have to sometimes struggle with, I call it struggle. I love that struggle. I will not say 
the struggle is easy, but it's, I love the struggle. And something come out of after struggle, I'm like, I did that. I am actually sometimes surprised myself. I, did that. I do. So I like that kind of a challenge. So sometimes go more and more, and sometimes I have to kind of stand back. I need to stop, and I have to kind of regroup myself to just kind of study because I'm just kind of digging my hole, and my painting just goes sometimes like darker. <laughs> So I just kind of have to, but you know, usually the watercolor, lots of times people say watercolor is kind of, um, you cannot make dark, because you kind of lighter. And a lot of times people think this is kind of watercolor. And for me, this one's like my play sketch. But it's not true, but it's like, a, that's, in the beginning, I actually painted oriental painting. Uh, I think it's for three years, because I want to paint, because I, that's, what I, but that's, that's how I start. But I want to paint oil. I want to paint portrait. That's that was my get go. Is I want to paint portraits. I paint portrait for until I came to United States. So it's almost like 15 years. I think it's about 13 years in Korea. And I came here and uh, um, I moved to Fort Worth and I couldn't find jobs. So I started painting watercolor for a year. <laughs> but it's a um, it's kind of a I. So did I take watercolor lesson? No. I think so I had a set of uh, water because uh, I'm a kind of a holder for the color and paper. And I think so I went to one of those kind of Asia art store, that kind of thing in uh, you know, uh, Newport News. And I, that's where I went to school. We had a, what they call a, a kind of um, assignment. It kind of, when you go to school, kind of design class or kind of painting class, they have assignment. Color pencil one time, watercolor one time, like a gouache one time, that kind of thing. And it was watercolor, so I picked up 99 cents sale watercolor. <laughs> so it was a good one, actually. Now, a kind of um, sneaky. It's a very good paint, but they don't. They no longer make watercolor. And the shimiki, and it was a nice, I think it was a good running out. They are not going to make that paint, so it was 99 cents. Oh, it's a good price. I just picked. That's what I had, and I painted watercolor because of the assignment. And I, uh, I had that one in um, for work, and I thought maybe I'm gonna paint watercolor. But he said, kind of everybody has a different kind of a start point, and at the time I was painting water too. And there's a in for work uh, watercolor society, what they call like a society watercolor society, SWS or something, SWA. And I went to uh, Asia Art Store. They have a brochure. Kind of, I can become a member, and if I become a member, I can enter the show. First time in my life, oh, maybe I can enter the show. I'm gonna paint watercolor. I have watercolor in my home, and I, uh, I have, st I still have that brush. When I was painting in Korea, uh, watercolor, I still had that brush. Can you see? I'm a hoarder. I don't <laughs> So I painted, so I don't have a, I just moved to Texas. I don't have table, we are just remodeling the house. I painted on the floor. Uh -huh. I painted on the floor, two painting, and I had, I had to go to floor, uh, Colorado for uh, my husband's um, mother-in-law's accident, to take care of her. And he's the one overnight framed it and entry for me. Uh -huh. And he said, I was coming home and it's like they say, that's the reception day. And I'm like, they say they have one of my paintings. So I say, oh, okay, I'm gonna go. So like, maybe we're gonna go and we can grab some of the cookies, like here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, you know. and I wanted to see where my painting is hung. So I went there, because he's the one who dropped the painting off. And that uh, lady who was in charge of it was so glad to see him. At the time, I was married, so it's kind of was a charm, my kind of my uh, maiden name. And then she asked me, "Oh, it's this lady who painted?" And he said, "Yes." And she said, "Congratulations!" And she gave me an envelope and some kind of certificate. And it's like, and it says, "You want the best of show." And I'm like, what are you talking about? So I didn't know what that meant. So like, uh, she gave me, I knew best, I know show, 
um, put it together, my English is second language, I didn't put things together. And I, said, I never realized that kind of a show that was. I thought it was kind of, you just put it there and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> she gave kind of, I got the uh, envelope, I got the certificate, and uh, they want me to take picture. In front. I even took a picture, kind of president of the Deaf Society. Picture was wrong person's kind of picture in behind is not my painting. <laughs> and uh, I grabbed cookie and I walked out. <laughs> that lady, I became aware, uh, kind of, I became a friend and she thought I was very rude and high horse and like, <laughs> she says I was like stuck up lady, like she thought I was all those bad ladies. I didn't know, I said, I just say thing. She, I didn't jumping up and down, that's why she thought I was like high horse, like yeah. kind of bad, 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 kind of winning, best of show, I say thank you and grab the cookie and all that. But I just didn't know, right? That was my, you know, I, I, that's why I returned to school to earn commercial art. And when we were going home, I opened the uh, envelope and there was a check in it. And it somehow in my gut, in a deep down, I thought, maybe I can make it. Kind of feeling that I had. I still remember that feeling. But, it, you know, it's kind of, I couldn't paint, just paint as a pain because I need the steady income. That was my thought. I just couldn't do it, just kind of painting. But I re the, what I really want was just painting. And my husband, kind of, he's become my supporter, right? I can support. I didn't see it. Actually, from the beginning, I never uh, lost money on it. I always made money because I knew how to paint. So I, that's when, okay, I'm going to paint. So I moved to Texas. And I think it's about two years later. I longed to enter the show. And that's where... I met a lot of lady who want me to teach, and I'm like, I don't know how to teach, I never talk. They say, they just want to see how I paint. That I can do, right? Because <laughs> they start to come in, that's when I learn about watercolor world. I didn't know anything about watercolor world, and people who come to my class taught me everything. <laughs> what is the mud? How do you how do you not make mud? And I said, What's mud? I don't use dirt. <laughs> but you know, because my color of the palette is very clean. I don't use many colors. I use just kind of very strong, kind of almost transparent color except yellow. And that's what I use. If it and it's like and how do you make not mud? If palette makes a dirty color, I will not use it. And I will use color I like on my painting. And you see, it doesn't mean like, a, oh, complimentary color maker, oh, you know, gray. So I choose the complimentary color and I look at it, that thing is not going to work and I will not use it. But lots of the time people are complimenting because we paint with our head, not with the heart. That's the wrong, I think so for me, you have to paint with the heart. Okay? Not with the head. So lots of time, people know so many the theory. I don't like theory. I don't like mathematics. I don't like theory. They try to apply the theory to their painting. It's not going to work. Your painting is going to be like hush-hush because you are not painting with your heart. So I don't know anything about theory. I the primary color was yellow and red and green. <laughs> Yellow and red and maybe blue. Can you see? I was kind of back and forth. I wasn't good at color, but when I see on my palette, I know exactly if this is what I want or not. Mm -hmm. So don't trust color in the tube. I always say trust your palette. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you have to do. And if this color works for your painting, use it. If it's not, toast. Can you see? Mm -hmm. But lots of the time we just kind of oh, this is in our theory, and we will use it. And sometimes it doesn't go together. Can you see? So, when I did this one, I, you know, sometimes this talk is better than seeing what I do. You can see YouTube, this is all oh, everything. But I, I want to talk about this kind of thing, you know, YouTube. You, I think, I don't know, you saw YouTube or my video. My video. Hi, my name is. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sun <laughs> Because I couldn't say it, so I have to write it down and just kind of coming out from the uh, you know, screen. 
I'm reading it. I act like I'm not reading it, but I'm reading it. So I'm not. It's terrible. And I cannot joke because I don't want to make joke on a tape so everybody sees. Can I don't want to want? I don't want them to think I'm kind of like a weird woman. So here I can say anything, whatever I want to. But there I am, a very proper and rigid woman. You see. So I I have this. Sometimes I collect this kind of a photograph, can you see? And when I just kind of set it up and I will paint, kind of, I do this kind of a lot, but my heart goes to crap. I somehow love suffering. Yeah, it doesn't mean, <laughs> when, I paint, when I paint this kind of thing, it doesn't mean it's easy, it's not. I have to pull my, I don't want to pull my hair, so I go out to my garden, I pull my weeds. That's, that's what I do. I have to walk out time to time. Sometimes, I don't know why, put my hands on the dirt, it calms me down when I paint. So I do that a lot, and it's like just kind of back and forth, but it's usually I stay with it, kind of in the painting. So it comes kind of under. So this one is like, oh, I'm having fun. I'm gonna put, I actually put a little bit of a kind of uh, splash all over. No planning. I usually don't use it. I use play, but I didn't want to make complicate my um, travels, so I wrote this. I add some color in it. So if you have questions, sometime when I talk, only comes out what's in my brain, you know, what's in my uh, head. So lots of times some people ask me, you know, if I know, I will answer. If I don't know, I will make up for you. <laughs> One <minute. laughs> okay. so, and it's make up and usually right, so. Okay, so ask me if you have any question, okay? So I just kind of, um, oh, so another thing I have these days, cell phone. I am very resistant to technology. So using digital camera, we had a good digital Canon camera for almost a year and a half. I did not use it because I couldn't let go of the film camera because I love so much, right? Mm -hmm. I finally switched it because when I was doing a second book, they want digital image. And I'm like, why? I have slide camera, right? But after I have to use the digital camera, I already had it for a year and a half, a good one, right? So, okay, I have digital camera, I can do this. And after that, I never look back. <laughs> so I waste my one year and a half, okay? So, I, uh, I took this picture, this one, I took a picture, show them how to take picture on a setting at the Colorado, and I thought, I just kind of use this one as a kind of, um, can you see? All right, so I will go this one a little bit of a green. So this one I'm going loose. Oh, I wanted to do something because uh, uh, they wanted to see. When I do water drop, this is the kind of uh, the thing that I put my uh, attention to it, okay? So 30 minutes, how many minutes pass? So we're gonna finish until until then. Who cares yeah. about thirty minutes? <laughs> no pressure. Okay, this one is the masking. Okay. Masking, I like to use, you know, this one has a, um, if you go to Hobby Lobby, you can find this fine line, this container, empty container at the men's Hobby section. Like uh, they put some kind of a car things together, airplane things together section. And you see this empty one. And I buy masking um, frisket from the Winsor & Newton, the yellow tint on it, and I pour here, and I use this one. And sometimes it's just kind of pouring out too much, and I don't like it, so I use sometimes different way. You know, did I bring it? I use the back side of the uh, tint, kind of slanted, this one. I used to use that one, but now 
this one is just comes out so easily and faster. So some, but when I do the crystal, I have to be careful because if this one comes out kind of blub, 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 it makes more trouble than actually helping, yeah. then I will use a slanted. I think so I have it. So it kind of depends on what kind of situation I have. I change my tool. You know, somebody says kind of um, carpenter has a good tool, makes better furniture. Yeah. I use this brush and I wanted to show you black, it's actually silver black velvet. They use my painting as a oh. uh, cover. So they have a one, two, at six of them or something. They use my image, and I didn't know. That somebody told me. Oh. No, actually, I, I send them an image because um, I it's a lovely brush. It's I mean, if you are painting layers of this kind of painting, this brush is better. But if you are painting acrylic or something experimental painting, watch too much. Not this one. This one doesn't have enough strength to uh, support. So it kind of depends on what kind of painting you do. That's what you want. Okay, here. You see, I use this one. Mm -hmm. This one, is, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see this slanted? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And this one is plastic. So it's kind of, if it get a little thicker, I just kind of wipe it off and start again. This one is kind of a little bit too thick. I just want to make this one. And for the, um, so when I do this uh, crystal, easier to do this one, can you see? But I have to constantly dipping it. Can you see, that's a, this one, I don't have to dip. I can, but this one, as you see, it comes out block. But when I, if I want to have a straight line, this one doesn't work. So it kind of depends on. So this one is saves the white, but I didn't have to save it. This one is kind of flows too fresh. It flows out too much. And a lot of times uh, people think this uh, this hole closed up, so you cannot use it, the frisket. You, um, you can use Gugan. Can you see? G-O-O-G-O-N-E, Gugan. Oh, yeah. You go to Home Depot, I don't know what they do with it. It's that one kind of ladies, we have in the, uh, one of those kind of, when we take the labor off, the sticky thing doesn't come off sometimes, yeah. right? Yes. So that's the one you take off, the Google. I think probably that's a G-O-O-G-O-N-E, Google. And you use that to remove the mask? Hmm? You use that to remove the mask? No, 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 no. Okay. Don't ever use it here. <laughs> Can you see? This is the needle part. Okay. When, when I use this one, lots of time people complain this got plucked up and you cannot use it and they just kind of throw it away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this one can come apart like this. Drop goo gone, about a couple of them and live there and so use this needle to just kind of uh, use it and it will just kind of, everything just comes out clearly, okay? Then you can, you don't have to buy again, okay? You can actually use it again. So, so that's what I use. No time. And sometimes what I heard is, you when you store this one, don't make stand up. Okay? Then this area is dried up. You can see even if this one. So what you have to do is, you want to store this one upside down. Okay? Then you will never. Uh, it's not going to plug up. It makes sense mm -hmm. because you're blocking the um, air. Because when air goes in, that's when it start to. Uh, Hardening, okay? All right, I want to make this one, okay. My middle name is, you know, when I sign, you see, soon, S-O-O-N, and Y, can you see? The yellow stand for, or the Y stand for yellow. My middle name is yellow. It's a joke, but it's, I'm saying it. <laughs> My middle name is actually, actually young. Young. But uh, uh, when I came to stay, I thought I had to have middle names. So I separated. So if you go to Korea and my family, do you know Soon? Nobody will know Soon. You have to say Soon Young. That's my real name. Okay. So my friend says my uh, middle name is uh, yellow. Is kind of introducing myself to some place, and I'm like, I really like it because I like to use the yellow, right? And 
And I really like yellow, and I can bring my yellow. <laughs> and uh, um, I went to one of those kind of places, and I just kind of introduced myself. My middle name is Yellow, and the lady sitting right here asked me, oh, "Won't you offend it?" And I'm like, "Why should I offend it? My middle name is Yellow." She thought my middle name is Yellow because I'm an Asian. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> so usually, oh, it didn't mean that way because I use Yellow a lot. Okay, this kind of my I use Yellow a lot. That's why. My middle name is Yellow. So, when I, uh, when I go to workshop, I kind of joke around a lot. Because a yellow, okay, yellow makes it glow. White makes it sparkle, okay? So when you use lots of white on your painting, it doesn't glow. Okay? When you use lots of yellow when it's kind of orangish tones, if you get close, when you look at the sky, it's not white, but they close. Sunrise, sunset, it's always yellow and orangey, and complementary color goes on top to make it strikingly more beautiful. Can you see? It's kind of purplish, bluish. So, so my name is yellow to glow, and white has to be a sparkle, right? But in your painting, but this one, I'm dealing with white. This is the United States, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but, if you, uh, if you, if your, uh, if my painting is generally darker, kind of for, for example, maybe even this one. This one is, this one is white. Yes, can you see that I didn't use it? And this one is kind of sparkle because I didn't use lots of yellow. Can you see? But in here, look like white doesn't have a white at all. Kind of just a very little white, not too much white. If you see all the white, everything is like, whoa, like this. Can you see it comes out too much? So you have to push it back to, I don't want to lose that line, but I want to kind of, I don't want to see white line. So I just kind of cover it with kind of lighter color because a transparent oil color, it just kind of give you, it's darker, but you can still, still see the, the detail. So, I say, when I go to workshop, a lot of time watercolor people, because I usually get rid of the white, because people try to save that white, like, dear God, I hold on to it. I'm like, get rid of it. <laughs> and they don't want to, because they don't want to, they cannot get it back. This is true. But we are not going to paint, save white to make painting. We are going to make color to make painting. Can you see? So I make them get rid of it. So. There's a little bit of a white. It does good to painting. But if there's a lots of white, I'm not a racist. <laughs> it ruins the painting, okay? <laughs> so, so when I go to teach, I say, get rid of that white. I don't like that white. It doesn't mean Caucasian, okay? That's what I say. Because I'm a Asian, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make another joke out of it. <laughs> so, you see, I'm just layering it. Even brush stroke, I'm layering it. Can you see? Because if you look at the rows, they're like round and round and round. I don't want to have round and round and round. But when you see the rose petal, that's characteristically, one goes here and flips over, one goes here, flips over, one goes, flips over, can you see? So they are more like a straight line. Can you see? That's what I'm using. So center of the, so instead of this one, is kind of round. I think this is my miniature rose, but I'm using this one. Uh, kind of the straight line, can you see? And I'm going to have this rose come up here. What a fancy water bowl. <laughs> and I'm going to go inside a little darker. Can you see? And I like round brush. I will show why I like round brush. It's more versatile because when you do the detail work, round one is better because. If I can use bigger one, maybe this one. 
I have, I clean my brush. And if you look at this one, can you see the tip of the brush is my painting goes. Belly of the brush is gonna be water to dilute the, so I'm not gonna have kind of strong color. So, <laughs> belly of the brush is turquoise, okay? And I can tip of my brush is red. You see? <laughs> So it's, I think it kind of depends on what you are used to it and what you are, you are comfortable with. That's what you wanted to use, okay? It's kind of don't try to what your favorites are. It's kind of what you are um, feeling good about yourself. All right. Anybody have question? This is kind of most... I don't know, so when I go to some time demonstration, somebody sit there, paint and paint and paint, and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm gonna sleep. So, so I try to come to that crazy nonsense joke. So when I go to workshop, people think I'm a sitting down comic, and it's not standing up comic. <laughs> I cannot believe so I didn't bring my yellow. Oh, here. But there was a gold. Okay. So I did it, it didn't work out, so I wiped it off. I don't mind, you can come closer to see it. You can kind of blow up a little bit. So even this loose painting, so I did this one more of a more than one layer, and I want to go for the, this glass a little bit stronger because uh, I like to paint um, crystal because it's a lot of work, but like a lot of time, how do you paint crystal or glass? You can do whatever you want because crystal is see-through. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So it reflect everything what the surrounding is. Can you see? It's pretty mm -hmm. like, uh, but only one thing that usually primary color, yellow and red and blue. That's what I usually use. Can you see? So you can use anything color you want. If you have lots of red background, you can actually use more red. If it's a little bit kind of, even if there's no turquoise, I can actually chop it, kind of pop in turquoise because I can say, oh, you don't see turquoise, but some of the turquoise behind me was a turquoise wobbler. Can you see? It just makes it good. It looks good. It's just something is really stand out. And that's the only point, not what it looks like. Okay? So. You see, so when I do detail, 
I pay attention where my tip of my brush go. Lots of the time people just kind of paint it. I don't know, it's like in the beginning when I start to clean things around, I use big brush to spray things around. So it kind of mingles together. And after that, it's a new brush. It's kind of, I, um, one of my friends, actually, they, um, I like this brush. I used to go to Korea, bought brush and bring it here to paint or color because I don't like some of the brush and there's a Kolinsky and Sabre, they're very expensive. And I say, oh, that's too expensive. So I just kind of use that. People come to my class, start use, can I saw this one they were using? They say very good. And usually sometimes, okay, let me try. And I just kind of put my hands on their paint. It's really good. And I start using it. And one time I think it's an Irish magazine or something, they wanted to write an article about me. And usually they kind of give you questionnaire, these kind of things that I have to figure out. And I think that one of the questions was, can I don't have to answer everything, but I'm looking for something each to answer. And one of them was, what kind of brush do you use? And I talk about this brush. I put it, when I go to some, uh, you know, article where they're gonna write about it, kind of about brush, and you always mention this brush, the owner happened to read that article. And she sent me an email. Oh, thank you so much for mentioning my brush or something, something else. Like and as I, I turn back, I can reply, don't mention it, I love your, your brush, I really love your brush. And she asked me if uh, I can send her some image for advertisement she can use for uh, this brush. Oh, of course, that's gonna be my free advertisement. So she's gonna use my name and my website or something and uh, she's gonna use my image. So I said, okay. So I did. And I think it's, uh, Tina, I'm not a, where's the big kid? <laughs> she always kind of yell at me because I don't read small letter. It's, I don't even read big letter. I just like, uh, oh, that's what probably that's what they say, and I just do it. And uh, um, and so it's kind of I saw actually they even sent it, and I saw some of the magazine they were using my painting and my name and website, and they were actually they are advertising traveling set, kind of traveling brush what they call voids. But brush is good, but you can use for the uh, traveling. And uh, um, they send me something, and they gonna do uh, something, and they say, if I have more image, I say, okay, and I send them more emails. That was the one they were proposing, they gonna kind of package the things. Later, kind of how many years later, I read it, I'm like, oh, that's what it was. So I sent them. So, but I didn't know that was it, and uh, my friend went to Amazon.com and they, she saw the silver brush using my image to package it. I'm like, oh, is it? I didn't know. And she said, oh, you got it there? I said, oh, I, I, I know they were using my um, image, use it as an uh, advertisement, but I didn't know they were packaging it. So I went to their website and I said, six of them, it kind of said kind of they were using my image. I don't mind, but uh, um, kind of I sent her. Yeah, I, I didn't realize kind of I saw your package, like today is my painting, and it is. Could you send me a, a set? And she sent me. But I really love this company's brush. And price is right. Price is better than anything I think is I've seen. And uh, um, if the quality is as good as Kulinski or Red Silk. So you draw first? I usually, you know, so this one, I didn't have a draw. This one, Detail painting, I draw. Okay, I wanted to talk about that um, that fabric painting. I draw this one probably more than 10 years ago. I draw it and I was tired of it. And I lost the interest painting. Like, this is too much and it's I draw. And I kept in my uh, drawer for over 10 years. Yeah. Wow. And it took a long time to actually you know, it's a kind of this day, kind of this day, what they call digital projector. Even then, it's like, a, you know, it's, I had definite, I used to create. And I thought, ah, oh, this one is just too much. And I, just, and I didn't even dare to actually paint that one until, okay, 
I know why I'm painting a lot these days, because about a year and a half, close to two years, I couldn't paint much. I wanted to paint, but I couldn't paint much. I developed shingles. I got the shingles. And four left side of the torso I have. And I, what I developed was shingle went away, but what I developed was PHN, which is, um, PHN is like a, um, what they call like a, a it kind of some, something to do with the, uh, the pain. I think I could never remember P P H N, which is nerve damaged. I damaged the nerve, so I still have that pain, and I still take medication. Before, almost like a, can I, a month before, I couldn't sit still for like this, and. I get sweaty because my pain goes up. I get sweaty because I have to get up and it just kind of, I couldn't sit still for a long time. And now, I think I'm getting better. <laughs> Until next doctor's appointment, if I don't get better, I was gonna get a laser shot thing. It's kind of laser thing to just kind of get the pain. Front part, I can deal with. But backside, I cannot wear clothes without having patch on it or something. It hurts like crazy. And now, I don't even have to, kind of still have a pain, but it's tolerable. So, so now I can sit still for a whole day long and I'm okay. Can you see? That's why I'm painting a lot because I want to paint so bad, but I couldn't for a long time. So, so PHN, so single vaccination. <laughs> it is. It, oh, I was going to have it, and I, I had it, but it's a, it was an awful thing that I had to have. But I'm okay. I'm still okay. So, lots of time people ask me what kind of a color that I use. I don't know. I usually, you know, to make uh, this, when I use this green, can you see? It's kind of too bright. I know that I want to darken it. That's what I'm trusting with my heart. It's too, too bright. So, I could add red or, um, what time is up? No, no, but we need to go. I gotta finish this one. So I'm using I'm using my purple to make a leaf. Can you see it? All right. So the glass is the most interesting thing. With this one, it's glass is not interesting. Flower is. Can you see that? <laughs> okay. Because uh, uh, this one, it was a yellow, but I'm going to uh, negative painting to make yellow gloss a little bit more. I thought about what I'm going to do with uh, uh, this demonstration, and uh, I didn't want to. I think it's I did that last time, all those things. All right. You see, because uh, now I'm gonna show water drop. Okay, that's gonna be my. Uh, I think that looks good. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Water drop. Can you see? I made it. I put little dots, and I have a smiley mouth. Okay. So usually, what happened was always work with your undercoat. Oh, this is dry. That's good. This is gonna be highlight, okay, top. Can you see how, how, how tight I am holding my brush? Too much water. Purple water drop is red water. And I am going to blend this one within the round. You see? So usually you want to have a drawing like a round. And if this underneath is dried, 
I will go for shadow too. I'm gonna stay away from the there. Can you see? It's longer shadow or it's kind of shorter shadow. It's just kind of hard shadow. Can you see? So this is the kind of a, and this one has a color, but it's a, I didn't bring, uh, did I bring exacto knife? Sometimes I will use exacto knife to kind of pop it. I didn't bring exacto knife. So it doesn't mean you have to prepare, but it's kind of, it's good to have a kind of white line beforehand, then it sparkles a little better, okay? And I'm gonna go this one, it's kind of a little thicker. But now this one is kind of a little purplish. You always, what's underneath color, that's what you want to use. If you have a yellow, you don't want to use all of a sudden blue or something, then it doesn't go together. Because water is transluent, so what's underneath is gonna bring it up. It's a little darker, it's kind of purplish tone. Little reddish purplish tone. And this is, I always have this one, I think it's kind of Walmart, has a, this cotton, but they call flower set. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love, I love it. it. Cheaper, cleaner, mm -hmm. it's just it. And it's like, I have this one, it's dirty and it's wet, and I toss it out, I use, and it's kind of, I, at one time, some Clorox and hot water that I wash to make this one. Okay. <laughs> So because I have frisket on it, I can actually go this one all over. And I will blend this one out without worry. You see? And I will make the shadow underneath of this. Underneath of a um, frisket. Generally, this is the idea. And after this one dries out, I will take the just frisk it off. I'll just make one here, fresh. What do you take the masking off? After this one is dried. What do you use? Do my finger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you know there's those little squares. There's a, there's a what they call... Um, Rubber cement. Rubber cement. cement. Yeah, rubber cement remover. Yeah. That's what you have, kind of. But this one is. Yeah. If I use lots of masking fluid, if I try to use my finger, it burns. Do you mostly use one forty pound paper? No. Um, usually, if I do um, for shit, okay. Then I say shit. S H E T. For shit. Okay. For shit, I use three hundred pound. And three hundred. Yes. But uh, uh, when I use the half sh S H E T, hundred forty pound. Yeah. Hundred. Yes. Hundred. Hundred forty pounds. And I cut it, and I have, and that's what I use. And this one, I started having demonstration with Kenson. I don't like Kenson paper, because I don't know why. I never liked it. Okay, can you see this one is already got it, and this one is, I don't know if this one dry or not. I have to, Beautify a little bit rough. Mm -hmm. You see, it's kind of, if you can look at it, it's, it is a, it doesn't go together with this one. Can you see? So, it's there. I'm going to make this one disappear a little. Do you use one particular brand of watercolor? No, I usually pick out some of the watercolor from this company, that company, like that. I, mean, I kind of start using different kind of watercolor. Um, you know, so once you start paying watercolor, and it's like, get a lot of awards, kind of merchandise award. With sometimes it's good one, sometimes like, oh my God, what can I, what, what am I gonna do with this thing, kind of thing, right? But, uh, uh, so I get lots of them, and I started using it a lot 
doing this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I paint a big one, I strictly use what I like. So I use uh, Winsor & Newton. So a lot of times people ask me about what kind of a work I like to buy. Do you know, the Winsor & Newton has a long history of, uh, you know, company uh, history, right? There's a reason, because it is good. But don't buy lots of other stuff. Just buy very basic one. Okay? But that's okay? So, I think that's kind of okay. And sometimes, okay, one time, so sometimes people think this kind of watercolor is not fixable. It's not true. You can fix everything. I'm a watercolor 911 girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, because uh, uh, lots of the time, watercolor people have a little bit of a fear that they can, they, when they lose <coughs> their um, white, they cannot get it. So that's why they just kind of stay back too much. But even if you did it and you wanted to get the uh, white, uh, lighter color back, you can get it. Only one thing you are not going to get it back is like paper white, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. But I'm not looking for paper white. If I have paper white, do you remember? White sparkle, there's too much, it's a problem. So I have to push it back. So I see the surrounding. I have to make, if I want to make there's going to be light and dark, I have to make a little lighter than right next to it, yeah. you see? And it's, I'm not looking for white, so it always works. So, you kind of met, more messing it up, the better the painting is. And cans and paper lift so easily. That's one good part. And these days, even arches lift it up very good. Okay? Can you see? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're lifting right now? Yeah. yeah. And you can you can lift, you can put it back, and but you don't want it. The only one thing you don't want it to do is don't use so strong brush, the scrub brush. You know that they sell the scrub brush with round in it. That's too strong. Okay, so you don't want to use that one. And kind of be careful how much you scrub. And sometimes they scrub and scrub and sc that, that's how they, they scrub. Nothing changes. What did you do? I scrub and it's where? And scrub and scrub. You have to scrub, okay? You have to press a little harder to scrub so something will come out of it, okay? So if I do this one after that, I have to take this one out, right? It looks good. Do you usually work on a flat surface or do you? Yes. And when I paint, especially this kind of thing, and it's when I paint in the beginning, I use a lot of pigment. Pigment and water. Can you see it's kind of that depends on what kind of uh, intensity that I use. And if I just lift this one up, pigment goes down all the time. Can you see? It's not that this, I wanted to make everything spread out. But when I do detail, I don't care. I upside down, sideways. <laughs> So that's when you kind of my pigment is thicker and stronger and it's not that much water, so that's okay. But in the beginning, when I start to uh, spreading things out, I always make it flat, yes. And this kind of thing, I always make it flat. It doesn't have to put it up. All right, looks good. So, Prudence, you uh, want me? <laughs> you try not the bar soon. <laughs> Sometimes, a lot of time, what I heard a lot of time, people wanted to fill it up the time. I'm like, I, I need five more minutes. <laughs> I think somebody says I'm the first one, he's wanting more minutes. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> right? I just love talking. And thank you guys for coming. It's so fun to see you guys here. Thank you. Right? So, I think this come out pretty good. All right, I'm going to make a little more uh, leaves and it's going to be the uh, Okay, that's why I don't like because uh, sometimes the people have color like this and they kept pristine. It's like, let me see this color and just kind of jumping around all over the place and I mess up the whole color. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like, eh. Thank God I don't see their face. <laughs> I only see painting. I don't see their face, right? So I'm just kind of poking around and they're just sitting there, they're sitting there like, 
<laughs> I just say, I don't care. <laughs> Silly question. Yes. Is it easier to do round uh, lines as opposed to straight lines, angular, or vice versa? You mean the straight line? Yeah, for example, the work behind you, your painting behind you that has the crystal that's carved this one? with a lot of angular mm -hmm. lines, and then you have the marbles with them that are round, spherical. Mm -hmm. Or is there no difference? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. Sometimes you know, it's a lot easier to put the straight line and angle, but it's the angular line. So okay, mm -hmm. if I have to do the angular line, it's longer. Being smart, resourceful, I will not do this one like this. I will make this one like this, right? And straight line. Can you see? I turn this one around. Yeah. Make sense? That was good. Catch the Thank you, Sue and Nini. Welcome to, um, to ask our questions. And